Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Crusader Kings 3! The Norman Conquests, playing as, still, William the Conqueror. Uh, no longer having any uh, good sons. Well, interestingly enough, my son Richard is not in a position to inherit. I'll bet you he's the one who's killing everyone, by the way. It's kind of weird, but my grandson instead is the one who will inherit, the Earl of Maine. I'm not really sure why he will inherit and not my direct son, but there you go. That is a thing. So let's go ahead and smash the army of Brittany. Ended a scheme to sway my marshal. Oh, right. I kind of forgot that I was doing that. Let's go to my realm and see if there's any powerful vassals I want to improve with. The Duke of Normandy. Duke Hugh. Yeah, let's let's improve relations with you. You're upset at me for some reason. Not too sure why. Mostly because you would want to be on the council. Which I understand. Uh, we have only a pathetic mayor in charge. He's not very important. I think I will put you in charge. We'll do this. Let's go ahead and let you do this here. So his opinion's up to level 1. It's not great, but it's okay. And then as far as a good steward, um, probably my vassal and knight, Earl Robert, or Duke Walter of Mercia. Now nah, we'll go for Robert. He's pretty solid. Put you in charge. Okay, so this is all a thing. Um, we will want to sway you a bit more. I kind of expected your opinion of me to go a lot higher than that, but it didn't. Camp Dispute. I could get wounded again. For once, this is going to work, right? Oh, come on. Oh, what a mess. I'm not getting myself wounded again. I need to live, dang it. William the Conqueror is 57 years old. He's getting old, man. Espionage, lovers. I found a sacred honor! Yes! Okay. Now I can expose her and imprison her properly. She's ha she's, an, she's, a, she's a fornicator in prison. This is great. There's 100%. Right, done. All right, easy. Enforce demands. Dunskies. Okay, so we take this territory, and I'm going to give it to this person. Because I expect you to become a duke at some point. Disband the armies, no longer needed. We've expanded our English holdings a little. That's good. Oh, let's see. So, 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 so. Hostile. Blackmail? No. Intrigue, hooks, and secrets. There you are. I think I expose her. Okay, I've exposed the relationship. Is this a title that will even work? Well, she's a known criminal, having revolted against me and being an adulterer, so I can revoke this title from her. That would leave her only with East Ridden left. She will likely take that away from her existing vassal. Taking away this duchy is going to be awkward. Or getting, away, getting it away from her, I mean to say, is going to be very awkward. I still want you to rise up against your liege. If I take away this province, here's the thing. Will she get this one or will she take it from one of, the, one of his? I want to take away her duchy. Somehow. What I could do is retract vassalage. This guy. She's a criminal, so I can take this. Yes. Let's make him my direct vassal instead of hers. That way... If she does lose territory, because I keep taking things away, um, she won't be able to take his land anymore. And yeah, now this would be, once again, an act of tyranny to do anymore. Okay. You, sir, need to go for the title. Just become the dang duke. I don't suppose there's any way to encourage the usurpation. No. The alternative would be to, like, grant her independence or something? I don't think I can do that, though. No. My sister died. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I would like to do that, but I can't. Hmm. 
Well, another thing we should do is get some more claims going on Brittany. With the intent that I'm going to have my guy usurp the title. It'll only take me 16 months to do that. Actually, not a high priority because we have a truce with you for a bit. What about Glamorgan? Let's go ahead and start getting a claim down over here. We'll continue making some pushes into Wales. Uh, let's see. You want to ransom somebody. Okay. Not a big deal. Nephew slain. Not good. My stress is a bit on the high side. We need to go work off some stress. Let's burn that down a little bit. It's just not enough. I got plenty of money. I think what we do now is we go to London and we build that Tower of London. It's going to take five years. And it's an expensive building that may not be the highest value of what I could do. But it's also really fun. So that's why we're doing it. I would like to get some more cash with the farms and fields, so let's do that. Over here, I think I do the same. Let's just get a little bit of extra cash coming in per month. More money means I can spend more money. How are the factions looking? We do have peasant rabble. That's a thing. Could go on a hunt. Could search for a physician again. We have finished uh, adding some control in Wales, so that's done. Let us improve the control of one of our vassals over here. This guy is struggling to keep his territory under control, so let's fix that. Uh, council position is open. The spy master. Alrighty. Well. This duke would like the position. He's a powerful vassal, but he already loves me, so it doesn't matter too much. I think we put this... Put you back in charge? I already fired you. Alright, we'll do it again. Keep finding secrets. Find more reasons to revoke territory from her. Hugh to Normandy. Okay. So now that we've swayed some of these people back, um, is there anyone else in my realm I really need to worry about? Duke Joffrey of Kent. Maybe. My grandson. Most of these guys are fine. Duchess of Normandy. Let's sway her next. I didn't realize we had a Duchess of Normandy. Okay. Nope, keep finding secrets. Don't stop. Gain 30 more opinion of Duke Walter, because Duke Walter was swaying me. Fine with me. Prisoners to ransom. Quite a few. I can't ransom the Duchess anymore, which is good. So that means I can do a mass ransom, and it should be fine. I hope I don't release her. That's a lot of extra money that I'm going to be getting. There we go. Doop, 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 doop. Where is she? There she is. Okay. Outliving my rival! She's dead! Good. She died in the dungeons. On her shallow grave. I'm gonna do a dance on her shallow grave. She dies. I gain prestige and I lose 72 stress for finally having her die. Good. With any luck, this new guy... We'll be doing things I don't like, and we can spy on him and possibly do something to him. Well-provisioned armor uh, armies, and get some extra experience. Yeah, all right. My culture has joined the high medieval era. What? Hold the phone. Hold on. Hold on. I could gain money. I don't need the supply. I'm just going to take the cash. Um, hold on. So we can get another lifestyle, and we're going to do sappers. It'd be nice to get all the way down Gallant if we can live long enough, because there's an achievement for finishing all of the stuff in one entire lifestyle. Um, right, so, hang on, tech. So, indeed, we just moved into the High Medieval. Pause. Let's take a look at this. So, right now, we're finishing up Arched Saddle. It's because the year changed. It is. We got into 1085. So, we're still finishing this one up. De jour, duchy, casus belly, and development. Don't care. I do want arch saddle. In high medieval, we could get things like trebuchets. You can recruit trebuchets. Size of men at arms regiments. Crossbowmen. Fortification buildings, military buildings, knighthood. Knight effectiveness goes up. Heraldry. New succession law. Medieval era economic buildings. Fabricate claim speeds up a lot. Divine right. 
feudal contracts. Can plus several claims in one war. Ooh. Ooh. Some good stuff to be had there. Scuttage. Uh, let's see. Feudal contracts. Okay. Development. Development. Domain limit. Well, I think we should finish with the arched saddle we already have. So we'll do that, and it still won't be done for another five years, but getting the armored horsemen could be nice. Proper heavy cavalry, you know, we don't have that yet. Heavy cavalry is pretty good, or so I hear. Four months until I can fabricate another claim. Could promote some more culture. Um, I honestly really should promote the culture in my capital. Duke Walter likes me, I get some more martial experience. Holding a Middlesex gets levy reinforcement, so that's even better. Yeah, let's go ahead and convert London into English culture. So that just makes sense. The Tower of London's going to take a little while to build. Uh, let's see, over here. Let's get some more farms and fields. I think just going for raw money can be nice. Would like to get some more levy. So we'll go ahead and build, let's say, a barracks. There's the claim. Buckingham. You've got hide tents. I think we get another barracks. No, I'm already constructing. Over here? Military camps, archer damage, and so on. Trade ports, taxes, and development growth. That could be good. Yeah, I think getting some extra development growth is smart. We'll do that next. Alliance expires with the King of Sweden. Well, that sucks. So, in Glamorgan, Glamorgan, can press a claim. We will. As we are often inclined to do. New rally point in Buckingham. Get rid of this one. Raise the army. Of which we have plenty. 9,200. We are a strong king. The king of England is looking pretty good. Forget you, France. Oh, you disbanded your army. Oh, no, they joined out. Never mind. I was going to say, did you just disband your army before I could get to you? Because if so, that was very smart. A duchess likes me a lot. Thank you, Sway Scheme. Slipping away. Impatient. No, 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 no. Shy, gluttonous. All of those are terrible. All right, let's not take the stress then if it's all going to be negative anyway. Let's go and siege down the top holding because this is all that matters. It shouldn't take me long. And we'll gain a new territory over here. Nope, keep finding uh, some reason to imprison that guy. I need to do something. And that's 100%. And force on you. Thank you. Doink, doink, doink. And who was the leader of Gwent? You. We're going to grant you this title. Enjoy. You should probably form the duchy. Okay. What else we got to do? Uh, more prisoners we can ransom. Well, I don't see any reason why not. Mass ransom a bunch more. Head of faith for gold. Yes, please. 466 gold is a lot. That's beautiful. Still could fight Henry of France. Oh, a small child. Would love to steal a duchy from you, I'm not gonna lie. However, the only territory I can try to take from you is stuff that's not in duchies I care about. Which is unfortunate. Yeah. Good try for this. Don't think it's necessarily worth. Uh, let's fabricate some more claims against Brittany. I want to prevent France from getting that. France, by the way, appears to have managed to uh, get all of Aquitaine under their control. And the HRE has grown quite a bit as well. They've got the entire Kingdom of Burgundy under their control. The HRE is uh, uber stronger. Not as strong as me, though. I am, I am a dominant military powerhouse in this world here. Thank you very much. Could go and fight Scotland, but I just don't think that the lands of Scotland are going to be very rich and worth my time. Lots of extra cash coming in. Let's keep developing my own land, I suppose. More trade ports for development? Yeah, let's do that. I do think development takes a long time to build up, and it is pretty good to have. Already constructing there. Um, I think we'll go for another military camp. Let's see, what uh, Dutch are you part of? East Anglia. So I have to think about what duchy building I want to build. Right? So if we wanted to get, let's say, 
levy, we could do that. If I want to get a lot of taxes, I could build a tax office. Hmm. I think Royal Armory is pretty good. I think because this is a lot of good coastal territory, I'm going to turn East Anglia into something of a um, an economic powerhouse. So I think I will end up building tax offices. So if that's the case, then in Cambridge, I still want things that make me lots of money. We don't have a lot of other options, though, so we'll go ahead and build the hunting ground. London, we're still building. Still building. Still building. I am building in every province I own directly here. Could build up over here, I suppose. Don't really see the point. Logging camps. That's fun. Hmm. We're gonna have to fight you. I wish I had some better, um, Cassus Belli. So I can kill these guys. Oh, no, my wife died! Well, that sucks. Let's see if we can't find a good woman who is not... Mm. Alright, young is fine. Let's find somebody with some really good skills. You'd be fine. We'll marry you. She's a lot younger than me, but... I want a good wife. Somebody who can help me manage my domain. It's not quite enough, so we have to hand off this territory now. Marry another character. What do you mean I'm getting achievements? I've done these things before. Alright, same deal as before. Uh, let's go for somebody with some pretty good skills overall. You, a comely man right here. You'll do fine. Grant you this territory up in Wales. I've been overwhelmed by stress. Oh, no. Comfort of a friend. I lose stress. Yay. Uh, do we call for a feast? I think we call for a feast. 200 gold, but it relieves more stress, and we need it. Welcome, friends, one and all. No, keep spying on the guy, dang it. Disaster strikes. Lose money. Uh, I'm just going to lose a bit of prestige. I'll just get some money instead. No longer overwhelmed by stress. Lord Thomas gains opinion of me. Gain a weak hook on him. Possibly form a friend with him. He loses opinion and I get opinion with everyone else. I think that's better. Tell me a story, Thomas. Friedrich's no longer my court physician. Aw. Gain prestige and everyone likes me. Yay! You, since you know what? Since here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Since, since... I've got a lot of opinion with people. Um, now I can be a tyrant. Probably. He's gonna raise the armies. We know he's not gonna accept. How many people am I gonna have to fight? All my friends? Yep. Oh, look at all these people who want to rebel against me. Let's go get them. I'm just gonna have a lot of dukes that I can go and slaughter again and just take all their cash. Say goodbye to your armies. Hope you didn't want that. Alright, so we know we need to siege down top holdings of some dukes, so we're gonna go do that real quick. You're gonna go siege down in Wales. That seems like an absolute waste of time. All these people rose up against me. I'm gonna get a whole load of prisoners. Doesn't matter, I just need to keep retracting your territory until uh, somebody else can try to become the duke. They're fighting up over here for some reason. Were these raiders? Might have been. doop a doop doop doo doop doo 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 I'm a tyrant. Oh, la 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 la. I'm trying to get the English in charge, dang it. Hey, look, a new perk. Uh, we can become a strategist, which is a very good trait. And with this, I gain extra diplomacy and martial skill. Also, enemy failed casualties, and I can cross water without taking a penalty. Turns out William the Conqueror is pretty good. All right, we took all of that. So this is where your army is, huh? You got a big army right here, I'm not gonna lie. But I have the advantage, I can smash you. That's right, you run. That's right, you run away. No, I'm, I'm gonna get you though. We're gonna fight you right here. I have a disadvantage, but it doesn't matter. Keep spying. Our knight was wounded, how dare they. Say goodbye to your armies. Hope you didn't want those at all. Let's go chase down this small group. You're gonna die, Northumbria. Goodbye. Okay, next we go for... Looks like, um... Gwynn had joined against me. How dare they? Let's go up over here. We're gonna have to siege down Northumbria somehow. My daughter is going to leave. 
She's not married. Well, we should probably arrange a marriage, preferably for a good alliance. Marry her off. I can't. Why not? My daughter's about to leave, and I can't find anyone to marry her off to. Huh. Did all the eligible men disappear in the Civil War? Is that what just happened? That wouldn't make a lick of sense. Could be. Harbor has been built. Good. Let's get up over here. Oh, we're going to take some attrition. Don't care. Let's just go ahead and siege it anyway. Under siege elsewhere. Annoying. Keep spying. Need excuses to take away all his territory. Gain a claim. Yep. Against Brittany. We'll be able to use that. General gossip. Hmm. Unshakable reputation. Or I do whatever it takes. Gain prestige and dread. Yes. I don't mind there being rumors that I will throw away lives if that's going to help me win wars. Alright, let's go and stomp his army one more time. I think at that point we win. He'll probably win this siege real quick, but that's fine. I'm just coming to fight you, dude. You can't escape me. We're gonna You're gonna die. Say goodbye. Okay, 83% war score. He can't retreat for long here, so we can jump him here. Education is at an end for my grandson. He is a fortune builder. That's not bad. Pretty good stewardship. Keep spying. Didn't say stop. Let's go unsiege this. Unsiege a couple things. He's marching into me, so he's gonna die. Siege of Shrewsbury lost. Mm. Annoying, but not a big deal. So you're gonna lose this fight. 96% war score. This one siege is all I need, and then we win. Compassionate Discord. My son is offering to assist alleviate the burdens of my duties. He's trying to use a ploy. Du Prince Richard becomes my friend, and the Duke, who is my friend, becomes my rival. Can the three of us not find common ground? Lose dread, lose stress. Upset my son. Defend the honor of my king. Try to find common grounds? I think we try for this. Hey, it actually worked. Well, no, wait. It, I angered two vassals. Everyone got angry at me. Never mind. That didn't work at all. Are you marching into me again? This is suicide, you realize. All right. Well, we just win our war, so finish that. Okay. So with this done, you're in prison again. You're Welsh. Definitely couldn't let you hold on to this. You're an adulterer. So the problem is, if I take this away, he will take this territory. So what I also need to do is retract a vassal. This kid right here. I'm going to do that. And then, I'm going to revoke your title. And I'm going to become a tyrant, but I don't care. Done. You have no holdings left, right? Okay, so Lincoln is mine. I just realized you're Anglo-Saxon. So handing you this territory does me absolutely no good. Well, I think what I want to do is create the title of the Duchy of York. Okay, so now I hold on to the Duchy title. Now I need to find a new English character. Preferably one who's going to be really good. Not the Archbishop. Odo? My half-brother? Sure. Lincoln goes to you. And as a result, also, the Duchy of York. I got the achievement. Boom! Norman Yoke is done! Alright, it worked! It's not bugged, it worked! The achievement is mine, we get the Norman Yoke. Okay, let's take a little look-see. There it is! Starting as William the Bastard in 1066, win the Norman invasion, become English, and have only English vassals below you in the Kingdom of England. It took many, many tyrannical wars, but we pulled it off, and now I have only English vassals. Beautiful! Alright, and the Tower of London's being built for all those traitors, too, so this is great. We need more levy, because I plan on doing that as my duchy building in my primary holding around London. 
Let's go ahead and build some more barracks. Uh, Cambridge, no. You, yes. Let's see. You are a part of Essex, so you need more levy. Oh, we're out of money, though. Never mind. Let's see. We can ransom a bunch of people, though, now that we've finished with this war, so money problems are about to go away entirely. Oh, also, we were able to um, capture the Duke of Gwynedd, who still has not made himself King of Wales for some reason. All right, we found some... Uh, my daughter... Oh, no, my daughter has been having an extramarital affair. Uh-oh. That's not good. Now everyone knows. Everyone must know my my daughter is a horrible, horrible woman. Let's go on a let's go on a jog. That'll be fine. All right. So let's go to disrupt schemes. Um, my question is: Do we continue working down the martial lifestyle? And I think the answer to that is no. Um, we could do diplomacy and such. Could also get down some learning and just try to get uh, health boosts and try to live as long as possible with a medicine focus. And I think I will. I'm going to go down a learning focus. I've never tried these, but I want to see if it's any good. And living longer as William is great, as a general rule, because he's a very, very good character. Um, also, also, uh, I would like to possibly start getting tech points faster somehow and try to start working on some proper high medieval technology. Right? Right. Okay, um, we are going to go to war in Brittany next. So let's go ahead and create a new rally point. I don't think we have a truce. We do have a truce with you. Never mind. All right, forget that. We just finished building something. Was it here? Yes. Let's build a new military camp. Spend some of that hard-earned, quote-unquote, cash from all my loyal, quote-unquote, dupes. And there we go. So let's see. Half-brother in York should be pretty darn happy. Uh, we can ransom somebody else for 14. Uh, if I hold on to you for a bit longer, the Duke of Northumbria might eventually be able to pay for that, so I'll wait. Could imprison some more criminals. People I don't care about. Duke Odo. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get an alliance with my Duke. Why not? Declare war on King Henry. What do you have a claim on? This one there, there. Ooh, wait a minute. My son, Prince Richard, has inherited the claim from his mother to take over France. France has no troops. Making my son a double duke is very dangerous, but um, we're doing this. Sorry, Henry, it's time to kill you. France must die. Oh, also, we need to get a new marshal. Get out of here, message. New Marshal. Um, Earl Robert, my vassal and knight. Or Duke Robert of Cornwall, who's really good. Yeah, we're gonna pick you. You're really good. I, I'm a meritocratic person, okay? More than anything else. So, um, this rally point needs to go away. We already have a good one down over here. I'm gonna go ahead and raise all of our soldiers. And we're gonna go stomp the crap out of France. This is one of the things I was hoping we were gonna be able to do. And taking over the entirety of this coastline is going to give me a huge advantage. We're going to make some serious cash. I'm coming for you, Henri. I'm coming for you. We're going to get you. Could call in some allies. You still have 680 soldiers, but I saw more than that down here. So you're fighting somebody else and losing, which is hilarious. Um, since I know you don't have much, let's split the army. One of you is going to go over here instead. Let's start making progress toward Paris. On two different grounds. Siege as quick as we can. And get in there. A scandal! Oh no! My niece, how dare you! New opponent. Nothing in this world is certain, especially in times of war. The English war for Prince Richard's claim has been no different. Uh, King Robrecht of France is now in charge. And he actually has some troops. So France just lost King Henri. And a new person is in charge. We could end the war. But I say, nope. We can win this. Let's go kill. All right. Well, that's interesting. Some interesting politics happening in France. I don't know if they deposed the king or something else happened. My wife had just uh, increased her stewardship. Thank you for that. So you still siege very quickly, right? Supposed here, which is not. 
we need to start sieging down everything up here. And apparently, actually, this new king of France has his capital over here in the territory I want, which is actually good. So we'll go start... Oh, God. Back it up. Okay, he brought in some folks. You know what? Maybe now is a good time to call in some allies. York. Tuscany. You're strong enough. Join me in this war against France. Who else might I want to call in? Duke of York. Doesn't have a lot. You have more than I would expect. I cannot call vassals into a war. Well. Let's bring these troops over here and get ready to jump on France. So she's going to join me. We still have a huge numbers advantage, so I say we go for it while we can. We're going to fight him in the plains, which is good. Apparently, I do not have very good um, men-at-arms against him. His uh, light footmen are going to do a lot, but that's fine. So we should easily be able to beat this. If we can siege down some serious territory here, though, my son will end up becoming a double duke, and we are going to take over all of uh, Flanders. The Dutch will be mine. And you're not even technically a duke yet. You're still just a count. And you have only daughters. So when you die, I think your territory could be split into two duchies, so one family member doesn't get too strong. And you are ill, actually. Still, we're gonna work on this. We're gonna take some land from France, and we're gonna be a proper conqueror, gosh dang it. I wanna become the king of England and France. That's what I wanna do. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. All right, let's go ahead and do it in.